Hello there everyone, it's Friday the 13th and we're looking at some awesome new Saturn hardware, namely the rear SD card loader, and now you can see that in this Saturn, I've very generously been loaned here, it's been fitted and where the CD drive used to be, there's now just a little SD card. I'll pop that back in there. Right, and what I'm going to do is try and copy these two games. So we've got Pal Saturn Bomberman, because everyone loves Bomberman. And we've got Battle Garega, because, well, Neo Geo Ninja on the Saturn forums is always telling me that's the best shooter on the system, so we'll go with him today. And what we're going to do is take the discs, pop them in our PC, make an image file, and then run them from the SD card. So that's the theory anyway. So let's go to the PC now and see if we can make some images and see if this works. Okay, so I've come over to my PC and if I look in computer here, I can see that I've popped my Saturn game into the optical drive and I've got the rear SD card in my SD reader. Now, at the time of recording this video, the only program that would create a working image to use with the rear was Disk Juggler. We tried Alcohol and we tried Clone CD, and unfortunately, neither of them produce working images at the moment. Now, hopefully this will be fixed in a future firmware update, but for now, I'll just have to show you the Disk Juggler method. So start that up then what you're going to need to do is go to file and new and choose create disk images okay make sure you have the right drive selected there we go choose somewhere to save the image well, I set up a folder ready for this And it's Battle Garega. Save. Now, before you start, you're going to want to go on to Advanced and make sure these options are selected. Scan gaps and indexes, RW, C, D, and G, PQ, no idea what that is, but we need it, and Raw Read. All right. And with that all set up, you can now click on start. And that will start and do its thing and copy the CD into an image. So while it does that, I'll pause the recording and pick up again once it's finished. All right, so we now have an image file. And if I use File Explorer and browse that directory, we can see it's there in this folder. So let's do the same with Saturn Bomberman. Need to put the disc in the drive, which I'll do now. And that should spin up in a moment. Okay, there we go. And exactly the same as before, options are still checked. And we want to save it, well, we don't want to save it as Battle Garega. We want to save it as D Rear Demo. Turn bomber man. Save and start. And again, that'll go do its thing. So I'll pause the recording until that's finished. 
All right then, so we've now got Saturn Bomberman copied over. So the next thing to do is go to this folder again. And what we need to do is copy these to the SD card and then set up the SD card for use with the rear. So let's start by sending those to the SD card. And that'll take a moment or two to copy again, so I'll just pause the recording while it does that. Alright, the copy's complete, so let's go over onto the SD card. And there's my images. So, to set up the SD card for use with the rear, you're going to need to do a few things. First of all, every image that you want to use has to go in its own folder, and these folders need to be named 01, 02, etc. So I've got the two images here and I'll just drag these into these folders and you can only have one per folder. Okay, like that. So I've got Gregor in 01 and Bomberman in 02. So that's now all set. So you'll notice here as well, I've got this INI file and that's got some settings in it that affect the behavior of the rear itself. So let's open that up in Notepad and have a look. Okay, so the first setting I've set is this auto region setting. Now you set that according to the region of your console. Uh, the console I've got in for testing and demo is a PAL console, so I need to set this to 6 as that's the region code for PAL. And what that does is it will automatically patch any image into PAL region so it will boot straight away on the console, no messing. Now the customer whose console this is opted to have a switchless mod done as well. So you could get away without this, but it saves changing the region manually. Now the rear also has a hardware mod that you can do that will make it so you can automatically patch region and 5060 hertz. But I think most customers would probably prefer a switch or a switch list to do that as some games run better in 60 hertz even though they're PAL region. So that's what auto region does. Now these two values here, detect time and open time, what these do are they emulate the whole opening the disc tray, taking the disc out and putting a new one in. So. To the Saturn, obviously the rear appears as if it's just a regular CD drive. What happens if these values are too low is that it appears to the Saturn as if someone's magically taken the disc and swapped it for another one while it's still spinning at full speed without opening the door, which obviously to the Saturn is impossible. So if you have these values too low, it can cause all kinds of problems when you try and switch to a different image. Now the default values um, we found were too low for the console that we're using, so we've put these up to a thousand each, and we find this works a lot better. So if you do have problems swapping images, that's the setting to change, and these values seem to work really well. So that's what that does, and with that all set up, we're now ready to go. So let's eject this SD card, and we'll go over to the Saturn and see what happens. Okay, so I guess this is the moment of truth. We've got the Saturn running nicely there, and here's our SD card that we set up on the PC. So let's put it in and see what happens. All right, so let's press the A button on the controller. And there you have it. A Saturn game running on a real Saturn with no CD in the Saturn's drive. Pretty impressive. So I'll just show you the image change button 
that's available here. If I press that now, you'll notice the Saturn resets. That's because it thinks someone's opened the CD tray. And if I press the start application button again, this time we get Saturn Bomberman. And how awesome is that? See, there's no problems with FMV playback or anything like that. It just works beautifully. As if you have the most pristine CD that has ever been pressed. Skip over that. Send Bomberman. Bomberman. And that's the rear. One very impressive bit of kit for your Sega Saturn. I'll just take the power button on there, just to prove there's no trickery. And that's it, that concludes that demo. So I hope you enjoyed it, and you can get your rear fitted by us now if you need to. Although the new designs are completely solderless, so it's not that difficult. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment on my website or underneath this video. Okay, thanks for watching.